Hi and welcome to episode 2 of um, my winter training diary. Um, there's been quite a lot going on since I last did a um, diary. Um, so first of all, Morris. <clears throat> and <laughs> we've already withdrawn from the competition that we were meant to be doing. Um, it, towards the end of this month, um, which was a medium and advanced medium, because I can't do half pass. Half pass is the work of the devil, and I hate it, and just can't get it right. It's the most frustrating thing in the world. Um, but hopefully, um, we will have made a bit more progress in the next couple of weeks. Edward's been shouting at me a lot. Um, I have a wayward left hand that I can't keep, seem to control. You'll see on the video in a minute. Um, and he's had everything checked. There's no reason for him not to do half pass apart from me. Um, so I'm going to have some physio sessions, I think, um, and just make sure that I'm level on both sides because um, one side is particularly weak. The right half pass is okay, passable, <clears throat> left half pass is not passable. Um, so yeah, I'm going to just go and make sure that I'm um, not compromising him too much. Um, so yeah, hopefully we'll sort that out in the next few weeks. So as I'm coming into riding the half pass here, I'm really trying to think about keeping the inside bend and um, as I come around the corner and he has a tendency to fly sideways and then get really tight when I tell him not to so then I put him into my version of shoulder in um, which probably isn't correct but that's what Edward tells him to do and then he flies sideways again so I've got to try and stop him from doing it quite so fast um, and then here he just gets a little bit lazy so I have to give him a kick and so he has a little strop about that. Um, he's rather a stroppy boy in general so I'm quite used to that. <clears throat> he, it probably looks like I'm having to hold him quite tight because he's another horse that likes to do things quite fast. Um, so I'm just working on trying to give with my hands at the moment. Here you can see my awful left hand, I hate it. Um, and you can see that I'm wonky as well, so I've got to try and sort that out at some point. Um, he does start to give a bit more in the half pass, but it's difficult trying to get him to relax enough to accept all my aids all at once, because he's he just is generally quite stroppy and a bit tense. He's throwing his quarters there, so we're going to shoulder shoulder in or shoulder four there. And then actually, just there, it looks relatively good. Um, so the next horse I have to talk about is Conker, and she has just come on leaps and bounds over the last couple of weeks. Um, she's always going to be a little bit um, compromised by her confirmation, because we joke that God had a little bit of everything left over when he made her, and so it was just... Um, kind of potluck what she came out with. If you cover her head and neck and shoulders up and just look at her back end, she looks like a thoroughbred, but with this lovely round bottom. And then if you cover her back end up and then just look at her front end, you'd think that she was probably like Cleveland Bay or something. So basically I've just been trying to get her attention and slow everything down and actually it's been working. So what I've done with her is, um, I've taken her right back to basics and um, shown her that the reins don't always mean stop and the leg doesn't always mean go. Um, so I've just been, I've when I've been working on the leg only to control the forward movement, I have put a little um, rubber pellum in um, with double rein so that I can control the forwardness. Um, it's only a short term measure. Um, but it's helping because once I've kind of got the idea through to her that the leg doesn't always mean go, I then put the snaffle back in and just work on 
um, the fact that the rains don't always mean stop. Um, and then the two of them have, funnily enough, come together now. So now I can trot her around um, just in a little rubber mouth, rubber or happy mouth snaffle. Um, and she's not trying to go at 200 miles an hour. I can give and retake the reins. She's actually seeking the contact down as opposed to bringing her head really high up and trying to fight the contact. Um, and yeah, I'm really pleased with her progress. So we've been doing a little bit of everything, a little bit of jumping, a little bit of hacking, because um, she's come on a lot quicker than I thought she would. Um, so we've got a competition coming up on her. And fingers crossed, it's just a dressage competition, fingers crossed she'll be able to continue the um, good work that she's shown. I'm not holding my breath. I'm going to ride her for about an hour before we go, I think. Um, and then obviously warm her up for quite a significant period of time once we're there. Because she is very, very feisty when she wants to be. Not in a nasty way, just she wants to do everything really fast. Um, so yeah, fingers crossed we'll sort that before the beginning of next season. She's just coming on leaps and bounds, so I don't see any reason why not. Um, so you'll see in her her schooling in a minute that she's still coming slightly behind the vertical because she just likes to tuck herself and sit behind the vertical. Um, but that has actually improved the last time I rode her, um, and I can put my leg on to ask her a little bit more into the contact now um, and she's taking the contact down and forwards as opposed to just down and sitting behind the contact um, so yeah that's basically a work in progress what you're about to see now um, so yeah hopefully I'll have a competition report next time um, I do my video diary so you can see that although she is coming slightly behind the vertical here she is much happier in the contact than she was before um, she would have been really high in her neck and really ridiculously tight um, and she's actually cantering sensibly um, her strides are quite nice and long she's not bouncing on her back end she's letting me move her neck a little bit as well I've got my hands really low just to encourage the low neck carriage and that transition there actually came from my feet and it didn't have to come from my hand and she again she's just learning to stretch um, we've had another exciting development as well. I've been given a really sweet little um, horse by Catherine Dazzler to ride. Um, he's out of a hurdling mare and um, he's called Zorro. He's owned by a lady called Dee Thomas who um, she's a physiotherapist and hopefully she's the one that's going to be treating me and sorting out my half pass issues. <clears throat> um, Zorro is eight now um, and he's he's a really really fun little horse and I say little because he is only um, about 15 two I think um, and um, he's just fun he jumps and he he's schooled to quite a good level um, and he's going to be going out to the dressage competition with Conquer so I'll be doing four different dressage tests um, all in one evening which will be interesting <clears throat> and um, yeah he's just a really really sweet horse I think the plan is to um, get him fitter over the winter and then see whether he'll event next year so next up it's Mojo my little coloured cob and he is in cracking form I've never <laughs> jumped such a fun pony he's got so much scope um, and we took him to Boomerang and he jumped absolutely everything that I asked. He didn't say no once. I don't think he's got it in his brain to say no. Um, but his dressage is coming along really well and um, so he'll be going hunting soon and going to a hunter trial. Um, I think he's going to go and do a pairs class um, with one of my pupils, <coughs> hopefully. Um, and yeah, I'm just having fun on him really. Uh, and lastly, the three-year-olds. Um, I think I had a bit of a quiet time recently. The weather has been rubbish, um, and I don't like to do too much with my three-year-olds. Sunny um, will come in and maybe do um, two days a week, three days a week maximum. Um, he's brilliant because I can, regardless of whether I've lunged him the day before or whatever, I can just jump on. 
um, taken for a little hack, or he can he he hacks out on his own. He's brilliant. Um, and Aria, I've been lunging her just to try and get her because she's got a huge neck for a three year old. Um, I've been lunging her. Um, with the side reins going from between her legs to the bit to, just to try and get her to um, drop her neck because she was really upside down initially um, and I've slowly been introducing that to her so there's a little video clip of her trotting around um, nicely accepting the contact now she's a really good girl Um, so until next time, um, when hopefully I'll have a couple of competition reports, I might have been hunting, um, it's goodbye. <laughs>